I spent $130,000 on finding how to get more leads, and in this video, I will be breaking down exactly how I do it for my $50 million company. My hope is that you implement this and see an explosion of growth going into 2023. So because I value your time and I want you to get the most out of this video, we'll get right into it. But real quick, if you don't know who I am, my name is Tanner Chister, CEO and founder of a $50 million company called Elite CEOs. I've made millions upon millions before the age of 30, and I'm saying that not to brag, but so you believe what I'm about to say to you. Now, with that out of the way, let's get right into it. All right, what's up guys? Facebook, hope you guys are having a great day. So what I'm gonna be talking about today is cold outbound. I had a, a couple posts I did about it, had a bunch of people ask about it. And so I'm hopeful that you guys will get a lot of value out of this. And I'm gonna show you kind of A to Z the process, pretty much a good part of the last six months of my life. So all I ask is that if you watch this, you utilize it, take it to heart. It took a lot of time and energy. And I'm gonna kind of just walk you through the entire process A to Z, okay? So number one thing to do, and I'm gonna share my screen just a second, is to understand that the lead quality is by far the most important. So you can have the best dialing script, you can have the best process, you can have the best closers in the world. If the lead quality is not good, I got a little help from a numerous amount of my friends. Kale Owen helped me a little bit. Alex Ramosi helped me a little bit. Uh, Cole Gorin helped me a little bit. And then the other part was just me spending some of my own time. And so hopeful that this will be helpful for you. I'm going to take you guys through cold dialing and cold email. So we'll start with the dialing first, and then we'll go through cold email. So <laughs> first thing you're going to do is is you need to find a Facebook group, okay? And it's gonna be based on your avatar. So let's go ahead and share a screen and we'll dive right into that. Okay, so let's say, and for the sake of this uh, training, we're gonna do Amazon FBA, okay? So let's say I help sell Amazon FBA, okay? So I'm gonna go Amazon FBA and I'm gonna go to groups, if I can figure that out, groups. And there's a million, you know, probably Amazon FBA type groups in here. See, no, I'm not really seeing that. I need like, I wanna see Amazon FBA. So Amazon FBA. So this is kind of how you do it. Okay, so you got Amazon FBA for beginners, Amazon FBA masterminds. I mean, you got a bunch, right? So you have all these Amazon FBA groups, okay? And so what you would do is you would go inside these groups or you would request to go inside all these groups. And again, you're not gonna spam anyone. You're not going to actually message anyone. You just need to get into some of these groups. So let me see if there's, this one's a public group. Okay, perfect. So I can go right in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to people and I'm gonna start looking for individuals. So before, before this, and I probably should have prefaced this sooner, is you wanna make sure that you get low cost list builders. Okay, so you're gonna wanna get, let me get a document open here. First thing you want to do is get list builders and a list builder is just how it sounds. It has to be manual. If you try to pull data from databases, it's not going to work well, simply for the fact that I've seen that the quality is very low because you can't really tell if that person is still active, if they're still interested in that particular topic, things of that nature. So first thing you're going to need is list builders. Okay. What you're going to want for list builders is anywhere between two, I'd say about five bucks an hour max. Okay. Uh, Philippines is best. Okay. The reason Philippines is best is because that is a good wage for most of them, and it's gonna make sense for your margins. Uh, what you want, I don't think I can spell the Philippines right, thank you, and what you're gonna want is six per hour. So you want six contacts per hour, okay? I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, number two is then find Facebook groups, okay? So that's what I'm showing you guys right now. So coming back to this Facebook group, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go down and look manually, this is what your list builders would do at each and every person. So this is an Amazon FBA group, okay? You can see she's in here. Let's see if I can go to her actual profile. And we're gonna try to, try to start finding her contact info. So you could go to the about section. Don't see anything in here. You could go to more, like there's not much to go off of. She doesn't look like she has a website. She hasn't put like any actual details about herself. And so we don't have a lot to go off of at the current moment. If they have a website, great. So if not, then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grab her name. And typically this will be easier. So if you have, Amazon FBA is different in the sense that most of these people are not business owners. If you're looking at someone who is a business owner, they're going to have a website, they're going to have an Instagram. It's a little bit easier to find. But then what you can do is you can verify this with Seamless, okay? So what I'll do in here is I'll go Jessica Jamison and no one pops up, okay? And let's see if I got anything on here. 
So no one pops up. So if I get this, I'll skip the contact. So if I can't find anything about her and I've looked and I can't seem to find like any of her social medias, then really what you have to do is you just go to the next person. Cause right now there's not much to go off of because she doesn't have anything. Okay. So, and this is why this will take the list builder, you know, six per hour, because if they're not, um, if they don't have the data or the info you need, they got to go to the next person. But what we found is by manually doing this, it's better. Okay. So let's say I go to, I don't know. Hopefully I don't show anyone that like I know. Okay. So let's go to her main profile. She lives in Miami. Cool. Not that we really care about that. Uh, let's go to her contact info. Okay. She has no links. So it's kind of the same deal on her. Um, so what we're going to do again is we'll try this. We'll go to seamless I'm trying to make sure before I move on, I show you guys an example where we actually get the data and okay, she's not in here either. And let me see if I need to reload this. Maybe I have like a filter, probably need to clear my filters. Let's do this. There we go. Okay. Let's go to contacts, go to search. Uh, let's go to names. Here we go. Boom. Like that. Go search. So I was doing it wrong. There you go. And now you're going to see all these people in here. Now, the easiest way to tell which of these they are is to typically try to find if they have, you know, like if they have a company that shows up or they're LinkedIn or something like that. So if we go back here, like she studied at Northeastern University, maybe you'll see that. I don't know. But let's just say hypothetically, she's one of these individuals. Okay. What you could do then is you click find and it'll start researching and it pulls up all their info. And then the way you tell if it's actually them is you just check it against their social. Okay. So this is called seamless.ai. So let me click on their LinkedIn, for example. And if the LinkedIn matches, you're good. Okay. This obviously doesn't match. That's not her. Okay. Different picture, different person. Okay. Let's just try a few so you guys can get the idea of the process. Again, we're trying to find the, her actual contact info. Okay. And so this is a little bit more difficult on this because she doesn't have a business. She's not a business owner, but if they are business owners, it's a little bit easier. And that's typically who I'm going after, right? I'm going after trainers. I'm going after business owners, et cetera. Let's see if we can get some of this contact info. So I can give you guys some different looks. Okay. So let's say we go here and that's not her, but let's say it is her. You're like, wow, awesome. This is her. Perfect. So then we can go back to this list and we'll go view full profile. We go down to her email. This right here will show that these are the emails that are under her. There's a 55% chance it's accurate and you can actually clean these after. We can also go to her phone, okay? We don't see any phone numbers. So all we have, and then this is her website. And then what we'll do as a list builder is like we went back here, okay? As a list builder would put like, let's just say it was like Tanner Chittister, Okay. Let's say it's like, there's my phone number, my fake phone number. Here's my like fake email. Okay. And then whatever else you could put, like let's say tannerchittister.com, any info you got. So typically what we'll put, I'll show that to you guys, is we will put, let's see if I got, sorry. Let's see if I don't want to show you guys too much stuff. So we'll go to, sorry. Okay, we'll go here. Oh, that's the work report. So we'll go here. And this right here is how we input all our info. So what we'll do is we'll have the groups, we'll have the groups that we use um, here. I don't want to show you guys the actual groups we're using. And so you put first name, last name, company, website, email, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, and then we'll clean it, okay? Now, what does it mean when we say clean it? Once I have that info, and that's what we have our list builders do all day, okay? That's all they do, um, as many hours as they wanna do, and they have to hit at least six per hour. And then when we've, uh, we started implementing a small bonus of like 25 cents for every contact over six per hour, okay? Once you do that, you go to clearout.io, you upload your list and it validates the phone numbers, okay? So this is for phone numbers. You guys can see here, like we put in 113, only 110 were accurate. Here we put 1055, only 980 were accurate, so on and so forth, 
okay? That's phone numbers. This one is called Never Bounce. This is how you clean the emails. You have to clean the emails. If you send emails and you don't clean them, you are going to shut down all your servers, okay? So this one here, you can see we put in 2,000 plus emails, 2,100, and only 1,252 were actually valid. So there's a lot of emails that are actually not even valid. Um, and so when you do this, you gotta make sure you only download the valid emails because if you start sending a bunch of emails to your, uh, these contacts, it's not gonna work well, okay? Because all your servers are gonna get shut down. All right, so that's where we're at so far. So just to recap so far, list builders, two to $5 an hour max, Philippines is best, six contacts per hour. Then you wanna find Facebook groups, get their info the way I showed you, just to like prove a point to make this easier. Like let's say you guys were searching for business owners like myself to like show you how much easier this is if it's a business owner. Um, that is, me back when I took a bunch of modeling stuff. Um, let me just go to my homepage, sorry. So you guys could come here <coughs> and you guys can see, here's my IG, here's my LinkedIn, here's EliteCOs.com. So let's say for example, you went on here and you typed in Tanner Chittister. Okay, like just to prove my point. So come in here, I'll go Tanner Chittister, search. And that's me, like, it's like right off the bat, there I am, okay? So it's like, that's how you can get people's contact info. Now, sometimes the info is correct, sometimes it's not. Let's actually see. So a little bit easier if it's a business owner, obviously, because like you have a little more context to go off of, but it can work either way. And it, it's, it takes more time, guys, and it's manual. But the issue is if you don't do this, when you download this from databases, a lot of times the, the list quality is poor because those people either aren't doing it anymore. You don't know where they're getting these lists from. You don't know where they're getting the data from. I, I've never really seen that to be a better option because when you call, they're not really high quality leads. And what we're looking for is the highest quality leads so that our cold outbound works. So one sec guys, I wanna get this to work quickly. Move on to the next thing. Either way, you guys get the point. So we'll just go, we'll go with that. So that makes it a lot easier. now. The next thing is once you have these, um, looks like it just pulled up. Okay, so that's actually my old phone number. So you guys can call that number all you want. That's actually my old phone number. So that's actually funny. Um, that actually is my personal email. That is not an accurate email. So anyways, um, some of the stuff is mixed. I'll just leave it at that. Um, I am in Miami now, but you guys can tell like some of the info was not correct and some reason you grab, you would grab all this, you put it on a list and you clean it. Okay. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Now, once I've done that and I have the contacts, next thing we need to do is put it into a dialer system. Okay. Now the dialer system we use, uh, I use phone burner. I like it a lot. Um, but I think a better option would be Kixi. I think it's like this. I don't use Kixi right now, but we're probably going to switch to it. Uh, benefits of phone burner is there's a local ID. Okay, which means if we call an 832 number, it will show an 832 number, which means that pickup rates are usually higher. Uh, the downside is it's only USA and Canada, okay? Um, Kixi is local ID and it's international. Uh, it's just not as nice, I don't think. So those are kind of like the, bent, the pros and the cons. Um, I like local IDs and I like it if it can call international, uh, preferably, okay? So to give you a little insight to um, what we got, what you would do is you'd come into contacts, you would import those contacts after you clean them, and then you're good to go and start dialing, okay? Now, when you start when you start dialing, this is what a dialer system does. It just makes it so that your um, team doesn't have to waste a bunch of time, you know, calling, inputting the number, setting it back down. It's just very, very seamless. So like to show you guys an example of what that looks like, um, those are people I actually know. Let's do like a sample contact. I wish I had more. Let's just do a quick sample contact. Actually, I'll just walk out. Let's do this real quick. One of my sales reps, we'll go to sample contacts. Uh, yeah, I don't know why all these contacts are not here. Give me a second, guys. There should be like three to five contacts. You guys can tell I don't make this, you guys can tell I don't make this stuff up though because I'm doing this all on the fly. So let's go to Trey, here we go. Okay, so we'll go to contacts one more time. Third time is the charm and we'll do a dial session. Now, when you click the dial session, it gives you options. Okay, so let's say we pick the phone script we want. 
Okay, so let's say for this one we do uh, this one. Uh, it will give us a dialing set we can choose from. Okay, so we'll do Facebook group strategy. He'll put in his voicemail that he's pre-recorded. He'll hit local ID, very important. You have to hit this. You don't hit this, good luck. Like it just won't work as well. Um, I've had people say it doesn't matter. It, if they're less sophisticated, it can you can get away with it, but more sophisticated, I would do it. And then you can do pause or preview or power. Power is just how it sounds. It's gonna call until someone picks up. And that's it. And as soon as they hang up, it's gonna call again. Pause and preview is exactly how that sounds. It will pause in between each dial. So what I'd recommend most you do is power and it's gonna sound like this, you'll see. Just give you guys a little insight how this works. Once you click the start button on your... Okay, here's a phone script. You can send an SMS right here. Here's their contact info. Down here, you guys can see, like here's the options, right, that we've left. Let's say they pick up. Example here. I'm an and then I can put in different folders based on what they do, right? Follow-ups, book the sales call, move to next caller, gatekeeper, stuff like that, okay? So that's really how it works. Let's say I'm like, you know, move to next caller, it starts calling immediately, okay? Let's say I leave a voicemail, calls the next person, okay? Let's say I leave a voicemail, calls the next person. So that's kind of how the team gets through a lot of uh, sessions. And that's how you can, you know, kind of check how, you know, well your team is doing, how many pickups. What you're looking for on average, this will vary. So this will vary on offer, okay? But what you want is about 10% uh, ten percent pickups, give or take. So if you do a thousand dials, I'll actually just do a whole scenario for you guys. So if you do a thousand dials, you want a hundred pickups, uh, you'd set 10 calls, okay? You can set to a triage call or you can set to a sales call. Again, that's going to depend on your offer. The more sophisticated triage calls, the less sophisticated straight to a sales call. Um, then you're going to look for about a 70% show rate plus on the second call. Okay. If you have a third call, you're going to also look for about a 70% show rate. Okay. If it's below that, like it's not going to make sense for the numbers. Um, you need to have a very high priced offer for this to work. Typically, you're looking at about, you know, 10K. I would say at least 15K plus, though, honestly, if you really want this to be profitable, because otherwise, you know, this is going to cost you, depending per month, 5 to 10K. Your dialers are going to cost you, depending per month, 5 to 10K. So you're already 20K in the hole without making any money. So you need two deals just to kind of break back even. Um, so that's why you want these show rates to be here. Um, that's it. Other than that, the way we track this, I'll show you guys, is we actually track it like this. So I'll show you guys our last month of August, for example. And what we do is we put the rep's name, the client, how many calls it took before they picked up, second call show, third call schedules, third call shows, third call price drops, closes, what Facebook groups they came from. And then we actually have data on all of our reps and how many of the leads came from which Facebook group. So we're very, very thorough. Um, I'm very data-driven, especially with cold outbound because there's it's very consistent. If you can get it to work, it's very, very consistent, which is why I started doing it because ads are up and down. I mean, this thing is ridiculously effective. Um, once you get it down, I mean, it's hard. Uh, dials, sets, um, and then, or excuse me, dials, pickups, and sets. Each rep puts that in each day. So. Uh, it's pretty sweet. And then on top of that, you can listen to recorded sales calls. So if I wanted to, I can actually go in here and listen to record sales calls. So that is the dialing, okay? Uh, hopefully that is very thorough. If you have questions, drop them below. I will try to answer these later, but so far so good. Hopefully that's making sense to you guys. Next thing is cold email, okay? So cold email is a lot cheaper. Um, it's a good place to start. You just have to make sure you follow the process uh, properly. If you send too many cold emails from a Gmail account or really any account, it's gonna flag it and all your stuff's gonna go to spam and it's gonna shut the inbox down. There are sending limits. So just like there's a sending limit with social media, there's sending limits with uh, Gmail accounts or email accounts so that you can't just spam people all day. So cold email, same thing. First thing, you take the emails, you clean it and never bounce. Then you're gonna upload it to something that's called Mailshake. So I'm actually gonna log out of here. Log out. Okay, I'm gonna to go to something called Mailshake. 
excuse me, let's see if I can get into Mel Shake. Um, here it is, Mel Shake. And so what we do is we upload this to Mel Shake. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but Mel Shake basically is a server where you can upload a bunch of emails and you can have, you know, test variations, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What we do and what we've seen be the most effective, I got most of this from um, Cole Gordon on this one. So shout out to my boy Cole. Um, even though I'm much better than him, obviously, you guys can comment down below who's better, me or Cole, just a joke. But what we do here is we put all their info, and this is actually a sheet we got from Cole, and we write a custom first line. And so what we do is when we go to their social media profile, so say we come to mine, you're like, hey, Tanner, you know, saw that you've done over $350 million in sales with your clients. That's super impressive. And then we could say something like, you know, and then we lead back with a question. And we're like, you know, I'm curious, you know, are you doing at least $2 million a month right now? or whatever, whatever they're trying to sell. Or I'm curious, do you need help with your sales or setter team, right? And then the rest of the body is exactly the same, okay? So that's how that's how we like to do it. Um, so to give you an example, like this is like when we send to trainers. It's like, hey, you know, I think doing X, Y, Z is super awesome. I'm curious, is your monthly rate over 1K per client yet? And then we have the same body on each one. Typically what we like to do in the body, um, just so you guys have an idea is, Custom first line, okay, uh, body. Then inside the body, we have a link to uh, VSL for more info where they can book directly into a sales call, okay? Uh, book directly to a sales call. And then after that, we have them ask for a reply. And if they reply back, we'll usually push to a 15 minute. This one is a 60 minute, right? Because it has an application. Okay. And we've had really good success with that. It's worked extremely well. Um, we're super, ex we're super excited about it. And it's something that we're trying to implement into our business. And then probably with like our higher level clients, you know? So if you're a beginner, I don't recommend doing this guys. It's going to cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh, probably to figure it out. Even everything I just showed you, like learning the intricacies and the specifics, it's difficult. It's very difficult. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys that last thing before I go, because I wanted to walk you through the cold dialing script, right? Because a lot of people are like, well, hey, what do you actually say on the call? So what we like to do, and this was a, this was pulled from, again, like the three guys who've really been responsible for helping me uh, personally as good friends is Kale Owen, Alex Ramosi, and then Cole Gordon, and then just whatever I came up with myself. Those are guys I talked to, I'd say a good amount, a uh, pretty good amount. And so what we like to do is we'll just say, hey, like John, this is Tanner here at Fitness CEOs. How's everything going? Right? And we're like, this is specifically for trainers, by the way. And they're like, yeah, I'm good. Or they'll say like, oh, who is this? And they're like, oh yeah, like this is Tanner Fitness CEOs. You know, have you heard of us? No, it's like, okay, we're pretty popular. So, you know, wasn't sure. And then we basically just lead with, hey, look, I know I called you out of the blue. All I'm asking for is about 30 seconds of your time. And then if it makes sense after that uh, to keep talking great, if not, I'll buzz off. We find that is the best opener. Anything else we've tried hasn't been as effective because you're not getting permission to speak. And we found that getting their permission is very important. And they're like, yeah, that sounds fine. We're like, cool. So reason for the call is we work with these types of people. And typically we, what we see is they have this and this issue. So it's like, hey, we usually work with these types of people and they struggle with A and B. Okay. So I'm curious, does that resonate with you at all? And like typically what we see for, in our industry is like charging more, getting more clients. So they're like, yeah, yeah, it resonates. Like, cool. And then from here, we basically are just trying to figure out, are they online? What's their average price point? How do they get leads? From there, we build value and we're like, hey, cool. So totally, uh, no, I called you out of the blue. What I'd like to do if you're open to it is we could show you on a free implementation call, X, Y, Z, A, B, C. And just for showing up, ethical bribe, what we've tried is like gift cards or free trainings. Um, we'll, we'll give that to you as well, just for showing up. And then what we do from there is we have a setter uh, do a set call. I'll stop sharing. We'll have a setter do a set call. And then that setter, if they're qualified, will push to a sales call after that, once they know they're a good fit. So that's actually um, been super effective for us. It's it's really gonna like, I think, change all my companies because it's something that once you figure out once, you can do it across the board. And it's something I'm gonna be implementing with like my portfolio, portfolios as well. So definitely not easy, definitely difficult, uh, but it's super, super beneficial because it takes a lot of pressure off the business in general and the ads. So 
Uh, hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have questions, you can drop them down below. I'm actually on a flight out of the country tonight, but I'll try to hit these when I can. And again, like I hope these trains are helpful. I don't, I don't really do these for me. Uh, I, I already know how to do this stuff. I, I do this for you guys. And so if there's anything I can uh, make that's different, that would help you or benefit you, please let me know. Um, if you guys need help implementing this, you guys can always go here to elitecos.com. You can check out like our, you know, it feels like a million testimonials at this point, people we've worked with. And uh, if not, either way, still love you. Hope these are helpful for you. Um, and let me know what, what else I can make that would be a benefit for you. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. I hope that lesson is as valuable for you as it was for me. Now, you may be asking, well, what do I do now? My answer is I would watch this next video right here on why working harder is keeping you broke. This mindset shift changed my life, so I know it will change yours. I'll see you there.